perfectly tender cauliflower is covered in a luscious cheese sauce and then topped with crispy breadcrumbs. Serve this dish for Thanksgiving or as a low carb side at your next dinner party. Let's get started by blanching the cauliflower. This helps cook it slightly before adding them to the cheesy sauce. To do this, fill a large pot or Dutch oven with water and bring it to a boil over high heat. Once it's boiling, drop 32 ounces of cauliflower florets in and boil for five minutes. While it's boiling, fill a bowl with cold water and ice. When the cauliflower is done, drain the water off and transfer the cauliflower to the ice water to stop the cooking process. And let it sit for a few minutes to cool, then drain the water from the cauliflower and set the cauliflower aside for later. In the same pot or a separate saucepan, melt a fourth a cup of unsalted butter over medium high heat. Add three cloves of minced garlic and cook for one minute until fragrant and slightly caramelized. Sprinkle in a fourth a cup of flour, gluten-free if needed, and whisk well to create a paste, also known as a roux. Turn the heat down to medium low and whisk in the whole milk until smooth. Continue to simmer the mixture over medium low heat, stirring frequently for two to three minutes until the sauce has thickened. Remove the pan from the heat and add one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, four ounces of shredded Parmesan cheese, and three fourths a cup of shredded Gruyere cheese. Continue to whisk until the cheese is completely melted. You may need to place it back over low heat if the cheese isn't fully melted. To assemble the dish, add a small amount of the cheese sauce to the bottom of an eight by eight inch square baking dish that's been greased with oil or butter. Spread a bit of the cheese sauce in the bottom of the pan, then add half of the partially cooked cauliflower. Pour half of the cheese sauce on top, then finish with the remaining cauliflower and the rest of the cheese sauce. To make the breadcrumb topping, quickly melt another two tablespoons of butter in a pan and add the breadcrumbs. We're using panko breadcrumbs, but you can use gluten-free breadcrumbs, crushed Ritz crackers, or another gluten-free cracker that crumbles well. Heat the butter and breadcrumbs over medium-low heat for two to three minutes until just toasted. Then sprinkle them over the cauliflower and cheese and finish with three-fourths a cup of the remaining Gruyere. Bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes until lightly browned and bubbling around the edges. Start checking it at 10 to 15 minutes and cover it with foil if it looks too brown. Serve it hot with your favorite dish or as part of your Thanksgiving meal. Cheese and cauliflower is one of the best combinations and this low carb side dish will steal the show at your next meal. If you love this recipe and want another low carb side dish, check out our air fryer spaghetti squash.